Hey everybody, how you doing out there on YouTube land? If you're seeing this on YouTube, that is because you're watching this as a video on demand on the channel. It's the Avocado Show. The show where we do nothing but have a blast with games, video games, gaming music, movie music, music from around the world, different kinds of music. You send it to me, I listen to it. We're doing Wheel of Cheese and Dono today. And uh, so glad to have you here with us. Uh, obviously for those of you who are here with me now live, How's it? I said, how's it to everybody? Right now, live though, we have a poll going on between two games that I might be able to, or I got to pick one of them, or you guys pick one of them that I'm going to play. That's a horror video game for Halloween. I also want to say, um, I, I want to thank uh, DR, or Damned Registration. If you guys didn't see it, uh, we did our very first channel redemption, point redem the redemption, co-host, um, stream where i met uh, uh damned registration and uh, we what we do is uh part of that redemption is that uh, you get an hour's worth of your music it could be five tracks it could be 15 tracks just no longer than an hour and i sit down with you and you have an option you don't have to be on screen it could be audio only as well or for that matter it could be just me just doing it for you but i think the fun of it was getting to meet people and being to interact and ask questions personally about people's uh personal playlists and, and you know the how and the why and you know it's good to kind of connect uh, that way so th that was really fun and i got a couple of really nice comments um uh both on youtube and on the stream that people seem to enjoy that interaction as well so um dr thank you so much I did have a blast with that, and I and I know I'll be looking forward to other people coming up uh, as well. Uh, hey, Kairu, how are you? What are you saying? Still says special channel redemption stream. Oh, does it? Oh, on my thingy? Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. I don't think there's anything I can do to change it now. Or maybe one of my mods can, but I appreciate that, Kairu. So anyhow, we're going to start off with some Wheel of Cheese. Uh, please, like usual, the, the stream almost started off with funky audio robot audio but uh snake caught maybe a little technical thing that might have been colliding between 48k and 44 1k and some of the drivers so maybe we'll never have to hear that again uh but if that happens you know just send up a flare uh crossface buffalo if it was one hour of polka i would still do it <laughs> so um <clears throat> Let's go ahead and let's just get started uh, with our wheel of cheese. We're going to do a little wheel of cheese first. So let me just go ahead and switch over there. And uh, let me just, re well, before I refresh my dono, I've got to refresh my sippage of coffee. So stand by. I'm so glad that we have this, that we do with the music. And I'm so glad that we have just such a chill um, uh, community here. You know, it's all about music, crazy shit going on in the world right now. And uh, we're just hu huddling here and just, you know, rinsing in the music world. And, and uh, you know, this is like our own. The Avocado Show is like live streaming music therapy, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So let me go ahead and refresh the data. And let's start off with uh, Queso Nuevo. Queso Fresco. And let's start off with some of our, news, our new Wheel of Cheesy folks. Let's see what we got here. Let's see how big of a list. What? Only four people on the new Wheelie of Cheese. Really good chances for somebody out there. So let's go ahead and just get going. All right. Newbie Cheese. Let's see what we got here. And the winner looks like it's going to be... What does that say? I can't read it. Golden, golden gold from Goldland. <laughs> okay, so the gold is the big thing here in the profile name. Let's see what golden gold from Golden Goldie would like. Uh, let's see here. We are going to be doing a game called In Hunter. In Hunter, and the name of the track is. Uh, let me. How does that work? How do you? Badlands and Machine Best. So it's an un, it's an underrated I don't know what what S H M U P is. 
shmup. It's an underrated shmup for PS1 with an underrated soundtrack. Well, we're about to find out. Let's do this. And thanks for coming in and hanging out as well. Let's go. That was really super fun and aggressive. Sorry, I'm gonna restart that again because I didn't realize that my audio was all effed up. Okay, stand by. Sorry, have to do that to you guys. That's part of the beginning of it. So let's just start again. Ready, and one, two, three, go. Oh, a shoot him up. Okay. I'm learning. single note. It seems like this game was uh, released quite a few years ago, yeah? the sound of those old school hits, orchestral hits, that they emphasize on, you know, the power changes, maybe it might happen here. No, it didn't. 97, okay. Some pre-Halo voice influence. texture. Very spooky, ominous. Like in the game, they must be in a really dark, gnarly area. Probably gonna get a uh, unmuting rebuild, as I like to call it. In the world. Dark wave. I think I've heard of that genre before.
is here from Monophonic. At least it feels like it sounds like this. Really nice. The voicing shifts in here, very well done. I'm feeling all of that. Yeah, it's a really nice uh, phrasing effort. They're leaving us hanging like that. Just that darkness, the heaviness. I really like the dynamics that went through this. I thought all five minutes was going to be nothing but that sequence that was just bouncing back and forth and stuff. You know, you know I thought I was going to, you know, kind of grind forward. I really enjoyed actually. Um, kind of uh, stepping out of the box with the chord choi uh, choices of the pads that were shifting. You know, there was still a tonic or, or a root note of sorts that would be through it, like a drone. But in, in a track that started off to be very, um, what I might say, predictable, ravey house, EDM vibe, um, sneaking in those other kind of elements and arrangements that gave us a different kind of dynamics to let it space out a little bit, remove that really, you know, agitated bass sequence, which is probably maybe the game when you're shooting, you're getting very, you know, in an area like that. Of course, I don't know the game, but I'm kind of curious on where just those pads started changing and it got a little more ethereal, even though there was always something in the background giving us, you know, if it wasn't the kick or the hat, there was always some kind of tick, 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 that was, you know, still carrying the energy forward, but really super fun track to open up the stream with. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, good work. Yeah, it is a good working track too. Turn up. Tis it is, it is a tis, a tis of tis. Okay, guys, ready for the uh, major wheelie? Uh, Golden Gold from Goldeland, thank you so much if you're still here. I really appreciate you uh, hanging out. Let's refresh the data and let's go for some quegro. Que, quegro? <laughs> Queso pobre. This is going to be the big fat slices, people. So let's see what we got here. Here we go. Hey, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, so. Are you guys ready? We spin. Here we go. Freaking advertisers choking off my GPU. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Could this be? We have a square meal after all. Everybody, I'd like to bring upon me a square meal. Square meal, how are you? I saw you lurking in there uh, earlier and saying, how's it? Where are you? Is he going to say hi? Is he going to say hi? I know you're there. In the meantime, let's... Uh, Square Mule wants for us a game from somebody ping Square Mule. Let him know that he's in the house. Square Mule wants uh, this is a game called King's Quest Six. Air today, gone tomorrow. Super trippy. And the name of the track is The Girl in the Tower. And the message is Aloha! Square Meal, how you doing, buddy? This track was uh, in the credits for the sixth entry of the Classic Adventure game series, but only for the CD release of the game. There were still new games as far back as 1992. The publisher got a bit of, a, got a bit of trouble uh, because they asked fans to call their radio stations to play the track. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, so the publisher got a little uh, greedy there and wanted uh, you guys, wanted the fans to uh, amp out the uh, uh, the programmer. Oh, yeah, that's 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 nothing new in the record business either. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's do this from Square Meal. All right.
You seem so far away. I was about to say, kind of reminds me of like a meatloaf starting, I right? I just need to hear your voice. I just need to hear you say. I don't know why it reminded me of the meatloaf thing, but I just. of an endless love vibe. Thank you for the sub, SB. Is this in the game or is this? Uh, he said it was the end credits, right? to love girl in the tower the song is written really well structure wise you know what I mean great powerful hook and production and everything on the arrangement and production not a lot of layers of instruments that very 80s 90s ballad you know clutch there Even the harmony is very 80s. <laughs> Even the solo, my God. I'm waiting to get hit in the face with some cheese whiz. It's a great feeling. super fun song really super well produced um, and very very minimal in the amount of instrumentation and overdubs and stuff so it really relied a lot on the melody so but it definitely did remind me of that you know um, um, kind of uh, endless love remember that song two hearts two hearts and man whatever uh, just that kind of power ballad pop power ballad and I always loved in the era of the pop power ballads in the 80s and stuff those late 80s early 90s how somehow Ingve would sneak in with a solo or, or the guitar player from uh, Winger. You know, very melodic, very beautiful, but somewhere in there, there's got to be... <laughs> you know if you know. But uh, I liked it. I loved it. It was very nostalgic. So and 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 looking at the artwork here, it looks like this game is is got some uh, some years under it itself. So from back in the day, Square Meal, thank you so much for jumping in and and hanging out for the wheelie cheesy, and uh, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. 
1992, you see how it's kind of close, XX, kind of close. All right, how about some more uh, We Leave Cheesy? Uh, let's do some newbie hooby. Uh, let me refresh, go. Let's grab some, uh, let's see if we bump it up from three. Last I saw, we had only had three people on the Nubo. So if you're new, oh, that's still the same three. I'm just saying. So for, for the few of you that are out there, I think most of you probably have been on the channel before, but if there's anybody out there first time just happened to be cruising by, you can get in on this wheel of cheese where I spin it. If it lands on you, I listen to your song. The request form is right there at the top of the chat. All right, guys, it's just three folkies. Here we go. What the folky? Really good odds here. All right. It looks like Mantis Monastery. Let's hear it for Mantis Monastery. And let's see what Mantis Monastery would like. Oops, I gotta move my copy. Mantis Monastery would like a TV show. Okay, let's see what it is, this TV show when it is at home. Uh, this, uh, oops. Yeah, it is a TV show, I'm sorry. Uh, the name of the TV show is Over the Garden Wall. Is it a TV show or is it an anime? Uh, and the name of the track is Send Me a Pitch. Peach, not bitch. Peach. I know that might have sounded kind of weird. But the way my life is going, send me a bitch too. I mean, oh my God. I'm sorry, it's so stupid. Ah, oh, job opening. All right, let's do this. Let's see what this track sounds like here. Here we go. I never... Wow, this is nice. Lovely. Beautiful guitar playing. Boom, 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 boom. That was great. I didn't want to say anything from him because I was loving every bit of that performance. Uh, the guitar recording was really kind of nice and and warm and a little bright on the up on the upper part of the tones. I love I love hearing fret noise and buzzy strings now and then. It makes me feel a little human because I, I I'm the champion at that. I love the tone of his voice. That that style of music, that kind of barbershopish, um, kind of like 1940s kind of vibe. Uh, it was always such a beautiful era for me when I was studying music and stuff like that because every single note in the melody pretty much has a different chord change or at least every measure has a chord change uh, in support of the melody. So that was really fun to listen to. And so you guys are telling me that this is, uh, is it a, a show that plays in fall and just repeats itself every fall because it's kind of a legacy thing or is it fall time, maybe a few episodes and they keep re-upping it? Um, 
that kind of thing. Because I saw a few of you guys saying that it, you see it or you watch it in fall. It's a Cartoon Network miniseries. Ah, oh, okay. Is it still in existence or, or is it done? Because this was posted three years ago. Um, what channel is it on? The Cartoon Network. Oh, Cartoon Network. It says right there. Okay. Uh, my eyes aren't getting any better as I get older. I thought it was like, I thought you said Cartoon Network Ministries. I'm like, didn't know that there was ministries on Cartoon Network. <laughs> Looks like they're like coming in all angles there. Anyhow, really, really super nice. I love the track. I love the tone. I'll tell you what I love the most, actually. You know I'm a freak for bass, but I love how the rest of the stuff were these whole notes, you know, the harmonies that were, ooh, but the bass is, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I love that. That's always bad. That's always super slick for me. All right, continue on. Wheelies of Cheeseleys. Uh, I want to thank you once again for playing Wheel of Cheese on the, I, I don't know. Hopefully we're going to, I'm going to refresh this. I'm going to double refresh this. Let's see what we got here. And let's go for some more speen. What do you say about that is what I say about that. Okay, next up on the spin for the Wheel of Cheese, this is Queso Pobre, our usual suspects in the house and some lurkers from the back. Oh, what the heck? What happened there? It, it just copywritten something else there. Stand by. Let me see if that worked. Okay. There we go. I make it to boo-boo. No, it wasn't rigged. I just make it to boo-boo because I make it to boo-boo. Here we go. Who's coming up now? Oh, 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 oh. Rationally psychotic. <laughs> There's some truth to that profile name. Rationally psychotic would like, let's see what we got here. Sorry guys. Rationally Psychotic would like a game. Persona 3 Reload. You guys know the Persona 3 Reload. The Reload. The name of the track is When the Moon's Reaching Out Star. What? When the Moon's Reaching Out Stars. Okay. I don't, I don't know exactly what, what that title actually means, but this is uh, what we're doing. Yeah, I know Persona's music is pretty, you know, another level. Let's go. So we've got that um, I never feel like so miserable. present day tip of the hat, kind of 70s, 80s Motown funk. Badass bridge or pre chorus. At least I think it is a pre chorus. Did we get the chorus now? I love all the symbol work. Ah, Amon, you beat me to it. Give me some 
Moses was putting in a lot of good uh, fire on the bass work. Super groovy. The open hi hat's pretty random. The swelling dynamic uh, trill string. So this is apparently playing during some part of the game. Um, what, what exactly is the uh, premise of, uh, of Persona 3? W what's the gameplay about? It looks like it's like nothing that's like a super damaging, you know, s single person shooter kind of vibe. Seems like maybe it's more detective ishy or something like that. And uh, oh, I'm just looking at the thumbnail, so I wouldn't know. But... Um, Oh, it's full of some at okay. Because I, when I listen to the music like this, I'm figuring out well, this is like really fun and uplifting and stuff. Ah, but that's what it is. Power friends take down a god. Okay, I see what you're saying. So they're all combining. Th that kind of makes sense. It sews in together. There wasn't. Uh, there was some really excellent layering and and great arrangements going on in in there. I didn't. I I really couldn't pull out a definitive. Um, Melody a la hook with it. It was a great track, very moving, very groovy, as we saw earlier in in the comment there. But I was I, for some reason I was waiting to get a little bit more of a of a sticky hook out of that. But actually, the the, the thing that stuck out of me arrangingly arrangement wise was the fact that it was really built around at least the verses were bum 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 bum, which I thought it was really nice. A lot of room for arrangement build up there. And uh, so, yeah. More wheel. Let's see if anybody else from the Nuevo Noob Cheese Roll. Okay. Let's go, guys. No. No one's sneaking in. This is just between two people. Two people. Wow. All right. Let's go. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh. All right, here we go. Molecular Shadow Fox. All right, Molecular Shadow Fox. If you're lurking, you, uh, you, you got the wheel of cheese here. You spun it. There you go. How are you, Molecular Shadow Fox? Let's see what Molecular Shadow Fox would like. This is a band. Oh, it's. Uh, I don't. I don't know if the band's name is Psychor, or Psychor is the genre. Standby. Uh, it's metal. We're listening to metal. I know that much. Um, the, okay, so the band is Psychor, I guess, yeah? And let me see. Okay, thank you, Molecular Shadow Fox. It is called Psychor, and the name of the track is I Go Solo. And its message is, hey, Jeeves, hope you enjoy this. Me too. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see what we got here. All right. I can never be what you want me to be. I can never do what you want me to. Everyone has problems. I'm oh, sorry. I love the snare, man. Dang. I too hurt when you hurt because I care for you. But you have no reason to take it out on me. Not worth it. I resign. Set myself free. Next 
last time I'll be gone with the shit. It's got more punky vibes, yeah? Find someone else than me. I'm not your garbage can. I listen if you're sad, when you're mad or such. One time is okay, a billion times are a bit too much. So now we're grinding into the metal here. Uh, I like that. Seat on me. I choose to wise up and set myself free. Maybe you don't mean to act the way you do. Your problem, not mine. Trapped us off for free, I'm fine. Remember way back when the trouble began. Yeah, that's what it is. I almost got that sludgy guitar tone. All the tone in the in the guitar playing is really coming from the bass. Is it not? It's like the bass is really the lead instrument. Super trip. I mean, it's like punk sludge. Um, I saw somebody left a really great comment that the uh, drum work sounded a little bit, a little bit like Stuart Copeland from uh, uh, Sting. And you know what really made that, like I, I fully got that that comparison was also the sound of the little snare. It sounded like a little piccolo snare. Um, but without a doubt, this whole track, everything about it was really built around the bass tone. Even the even when the sludge guitars came in and kind of lifted the the arrangement, you know, uh, outside of where it was just the verse where he's kind of staying, the vocalist is just staying in, in his little pocket. He's staying in the safe lane, man, because he's got he's being flanked by gnarly bass and the sludgies. Um, that the whole everything I remember from the tone actually is coming from the bottom, you know, and so that's what I pulled from that. But I, the track was sludgy as heck. And I like. I also like that drop beat, that cut beat they did just for one measure and brought us back up. Nice track. You see, I made an impression. I remembered some of it. Excuse me. I'm sorry. All right, let's do one more uh, super wheelie, and then we're gonna go into donos, and then we'll go back into super wheelies. So that's just my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, Molecular Shadow, or on the way to go play badminton. I don't know. It'll get the blood going, that's for sure. All right. Let me see what we got here. I should do that one last noob, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get back to it when I get when I come around. All right, guys, spinning. <gasps> oh, the quiet lurker! One of my super secret mods. He's there. He's always there for us. Turn up trader. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got, Turnip Trader. What, uh, what, uh, what you, what you want? What you want? You, what you want? 
wants a band from my, it's called My Chemical Romance, I think it is. Stand by. Uh, <laughs> I'll mix up for the last one. Okay. My Chemical Romance, guys, this is called Welcome to the Black Parade. Oh, he's calling this a modern classic. Okay, let's do this. And thank you very much. Turn up for hanging out in the cheese. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned? He said, will you defeat them, your demons, and all the non-believers, the plans that they have made? Because one day, I'll leave you a phantom to lead you in the summer to join the Black Parade. Oh, I like to level up in his voice, their powers. Big, big, big queen influence here, yeah? Even in some of his movements in the video. track crush it. what was the genre of uh, this band somebody say emo is it like kind of right up there with green day yeah Drums sound fantastic. Maybe they were influ uh, influenced, a influence, influenced a little by Green Day. Pulling back the uh, the Queen influence. Great vocal production too. Great video. Can you hear the bells in the back? Like the whole marching band vibe? Poor Mike Stan, what did it ever do to you? He 
hear the bells, it's great right there. Pulling a little page of an ending from Pink Floyd. A lot of money went in the video. That must have been the era of the videos. Super slick track, man. I, I dug that. I like the fact that um, they, that that it's it's a very odd combo. Queen meets Green Day, uh, but it worked out fantastic. The musicians were great. The guitar player is freaking great, man. It's like a little uh, a little sh a little shoe uh, rub off of um, Brian Gray. And uh, and also, but there was a lot of similarities though that I was pulling from it, going, okay, it's, um, even in the performance of the video, there's some of the kind of um, Green Day energy, if you would, with the vocalists as well. <clears throat> but the mel the melody is really stuck in my head. I also like the opening kind of vibe and the closing, you know, with the snare, with this kind of funeral march vibe or or parade style, uh, you know, setting the tempo for something kind of creeping in. But uh, this, I, the recording on this must have been pretty, pretty ginormous. From what I'm, what are you guys saying up there? You guys are firing away up there. But um, anyhow, uh, turn up. Thank you so much for that. That was a, a great listen. I've never, I've heard of the chemical, uh, My Chemical Romance. I don't think I did. If I've done any My Chemical Romance on the Decomposer Lounge, this, this, this one's going to be snip worthy. And uh, I'm going to drop that over there, I think. Oh, that poor channel's dead anyhow. I could put somebody putting maple syrup and butter on a used shoe and eating it, and it's going to do better than my reactions do now. <laughs> All righty. Oh, it's not on the channel? Okay, good. Well, it's going to be now, Turnip. And thank you. Okay, I think we should actually... Um, I don't know. That solitude last wheel of cheese with that one individual, I think we should just give that respect. And let's just do that one. Now I got to go back and hang on. Oh, wait a minute. We got, we got some more peoples in there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, like that one video. Oh, no. Oh, no. Remember that? That kid is playing, uh, um, what was it Jack in a Box? All right. Well, no, these are new people, though, uh, so I might as well spin it. Right, let's just spin it, okay, guys? If you're lurking in the background, you see yourself here, you, you got in on the spin. And then after this, I will do the donos. So let's, let's do this. Here we go. Mr. Bill. Oh, no! And who do we got here? And it actually landed on that last person from that last. It was a one in three chance. Anford P. Anford P, how are you? So pretty funny, you had a one in three chance and it actually landed on you. So let's see what Anford would like. Anford wants a uh, band. Oh God, I gotta move my coffee, stand by. <sighs> ASMR, stand by, ASMR time. <sighs> Job opening. Uh, Anford wants a band called This one is called Sa Sa Sasukuri UK uh, or a Vocaloid producer. Ah, how's that? A Vocaloid producer and the name of the song is Tondemo Wonders, Tondemo Wonders, and uh, the message is, I always feel like this composer-producer is doing some wild stuff, but I don't know enough about music to explain. All I know is that they can get incredibly difficult to play along with in rhythm games. Ah, I like that angle that you're coming in at. Okay. Well, team, everybody here, let's see if we can explain this track to our friend Anford P. All right. And it's a rhythm game, you say?
So you gotta tap uh, 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 like that. Now, there's a part of me that wonders as a composer if they write this at a slower beats per minute and then jack it by about 15 to 20 BPMs when it's time to output. I mean, Kairu, it is part of the, the business. I mean, that's something known to happen, but still. It just has that ramped up vibe. Clever music. I mean, I still don't have an idea based on watch. Oh, wow, look at that. All that stuff is happening to the beat. Bandaged up uh, fortune cookie. <laughs> That's great. Um, so if this was a rhythm game, um, there was some hints of it when I noticed wh what was tied into the the beat. Some of the beat work were things that were happening. Ding, 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 ding. And I think that, uh, Anford, you were saying that I guess you have to tap um, in rhythm to certain things to make things happen. I take it, I'm, if I'm correct. Uh, I, wh what was that one that I started playing? And I haven't really touched uh, for about six weeks. What was the one that I played, guys, with the guy, uh, the, the the rhythm g uh, game with the guy with the guitar? And then he uses it as a, as a thing to hit the the robots, but has to do it in time. I forgot the name of the game. Um, Hi-Fi Rush. Yes, Hi-Fi Rush. Thank you. So I don't know if it has that same kind of vibe. But I was, you know, as a composer, there is that tactic that uh, I've used a few times um, when I'm writing for music libraries. Uh, when they want like this hyper fast kind of stuff is that I'm writing it down in like 115 beats per minute, you know, and then I'll sit there and I'll clean up and then hurry up and speed it up to like 160, 170. And then listen to it and go, oh no, there's too many stuff hanging out there and I have to relieve some of the, you know, releases or something like that. Uh, but also what I understand is that with the Vocaloid uh, production style, um, it's it's kind of, it's it, the, the, the fast paced, um, music is actually part of the Vocaloid uh, genre. Like uh, from from the Vocaloid that I've heard so far, which I'm sure is is pathetically minute, it always seems to be associated with things that are moving really fast. Things are moving really really fast, and then the Vocaloids are doing its thing. So, um, so I'm not sure that's an always true fact, but you know, it just seems to me with the few that I've listened to, it has that. So that was really fun. All right, guys, Dono time. Let me do Tono. I have to refresh my how do you do here. And uh, we're going to do some Donos here. Uh, let me see what I got here. Oh, my goodness. I got quite a few Donos. Oh, I don't know. 
Oh my god, I've got over 500,000 dono requests. That's what I get for not doing this a lot, right? Strewing this out for a while. Give me a second here. Oh my goodness, quite a few. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just start humming down. There's, a, there's about four of them that are from three days ago, four days ago. Unfortunately, my date indicator isn't working, but I remember having these. Give me one second, guys. Let me just pull it together. Uh, dad jokes? No, I have no dad jokes for the day. I'm so sorry. I already told you. I think I told you the last one was the toilet paper one. Remember that, right? You guys remember the toilet paper one? Hang on for one second, guys. Uh... Give me a second. I'm, I'm just going through this uh, dono sheet and my dates. Give me one second. <laughs> yeah, let me see. What is this? I'm sorry, guys. I have a little glitch in my form. Just give me one second. Nothing major, though. Huh. Oh, here we go. Fixed. Okay, I fixed it. All right, I fixed it. What do you call a cow with five legs? Oh my god, I don't know. What? Ground beef? Wait, what? No, I don't know. Okay, well, while I'm waiting for the punchline, Steve. Steve! <laughs> Did you hear about the rumor about butter? That, that rumor about butter? Oh, uh, you're right. I shouldn't spread it. Okay. So. <laughs> ah, right? That was good, right? Was that, that's a dad joke, right? Was that a good one? I thought that was, you know, it was safe. It was easy peasy. Oh, damn. You know what I forgot to do? Stand by. I'm not going to put us on hold. Stand by. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. All right, here we go. Ah, all right, let's continue on. Um, so we're going to start doing the donos. Oh, almonds. You guys, look at the chat. I, I got to use that. I'm borrowing that, Amon. I got to borrow that one. I'm using it. All right, here we go. First up, guys, on the dono... We're going top to bottom. Don't know some here. Let's see what uh, we have here. So we have from Hurricane Gregor. Uh, hang on. He coming in hot on the dono here, but left me a special message. Give me a second. Let me read the special message. Uh, let's see here. No, 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 we're good. All right, let's do this. We're going to start with our dono here from Hurricane Gregor. And, um, and then I will be coming back and do a couple more cheesies, uh, wheel of cheese before we split or I split. Uh, let's, see, let's see what this is. Uh, the Denver, Colorado-based outfit, Blood Incarn Incarnation, just released this epic track. And I had to request it. This is called Blood Incarnation. The name of the track is Stargate. Let's go. Ooh, this is a long one. Oh, that's why the dono was very kind and courteous. Okay. <laughs> Just released, too.
Well, the action in the video definitely matches the music. I love what happened right there with the drums. Oh, somebody changed the channel on the radio, and now we have something from the police. I'm not kidding. Doesn't this have police vibes? You know, like Sting and Copeland and... Kind of that monotonous, super cool pattern. It reminds me of an old, ah, oh, why can't I? That is synth sound, man. I'm just trying to remember what generated it. I like this the way it's opening up and being a lot more ambient and there's a high pad back there. So this is almost feeling kind of Pink Floyd-esque, but maybe just a little level up.
super thrashy. I was just thinking about that. Look, I still, I love how they still have the pads in the background. More of that symphonic dark metal vibe. chaotic here now. be the whole lot or one side of the album well look at me i'm still thinking of albums as if they have sides a and b This is great, this part. Yeah, flip fart. Flip art. I'm getting this. I'm getting the same vibes. I'm sorry. They come from outer space. Why not? Why not? How many worlds are there in the universe? Perhaps billions. Perhaps billions. True, there are billions of light years away. But perhaps a form of life like this doesn't have the same concept of time as we do. It stays in a hidden passage. I love this section here. If you're Sorry about that flip flop artist. <laughs> I'm just old as. Great use of ambient, of the ambient vibe, partially generated by a really wide pre-delay reverb. I know they're going to kick you in the shin sooner or later with that full-on gnarly. I really love this band.
It's not that I love this because it's just ambient, it's where it is in this track. Oof. Dang. You're right, Turnip, there is some Diablo in this, isn't there? Or the vibes. Wow, this is a whole different level of darkness. Now they're going into more of the blacker thrash. drums here. a heads up of what they think the storyline of this track is. I'm watching the video. I'm trying to find the story build on this.
to the Stargate. That's what he just said there. Okay. Yeah, tying that in for flop. having video. In a track this long, I mean, I, you know, reacting to it is, is extremely challenging for me because there's just so many sections that are going on here but as a body of work it's almost like we just watched better than a short film you know like a festival short or something of that nature and uh, a lot of work went into the video with as much as the work did for the musicianship and the arranging and the composing and stuff and I still haven't gotten you know my head wrapped around um the process it takes to put something out like that, like a storyboard, a musical storyboard of arrangements when you're writing this. Like, I, I don't know what that process would be like saying, hey guys, let's do one track that talks about, you know, this journey, which isn't, you know, not, it, it's not an unheard of thing in the music world, you know, um, but for myself as a composer, when I listen to it, I just go, my God, these guys had to have spent so much time working on this. You know, and all the musicianship is, is, is what it is. It was excellent musicianship. I, I have to kind of lean back into the fact that I, some of my favorite parts of that whole thing were actually the breaks between the heaviness. I, you know, I'm connecting the dots between what I'm watching visually and when the hardcore, you know, gnarly part of the music is coming in. But for some reason, uh, in putting those, um, um, those really super nice pad style breaks, a little, a little moment there of the acoustic guitar and stuff like that. That to me is what made the body of work as a whole um, 
another level. I think if I would have been just 20 minutes of nothing but that harder, darker, grindier music all the way through and through, you know, I probably would have had to take a little, take my headsets off for a second and go, blah, 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 blah. and just in case you don't remember what I just said, blah, 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 blah. you know, and just do that. But um, a hell of a track. A lot of people seem to liked it here in the chat, as well as this was only released five days ago. It's got about 83,000 views. So the band Blood Incarnation uh, must have a wonderful following. How long have they been around? Uh, do I have... Uh, Folks from uh, Australia, did, you, did, did I not see that this was a band from Australia as well? I don't know if that was true or if I miss, may have misread it, but um, <laughs> nonetheless, oof. Oh, they're from Denver. Oh, that's right. It said Col Denver, Colorado. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I was thinking. I think it was because I mentioned the word Stargate and Stargate's from Australia, I think. I don't know. I'm sorry. The older I get, the better I was. Okay, so who's up next? Lisa Wolf, you is up next. Are you here, Lisa? I know you're here, Lisa. Let me see what we got here. Lisa is taking us on another journey. There's Lisa, how are you, Lisa? This one is, uh, oh, is this one of yours, Lisa? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I think it is. I recognize the artist's name. Uh, let's see what this is. Uh, this is by Elsie Yeen, and that is Lisa. And this is called The, Bro the Broken Picture Suite, uh, creating new cycle remasters. So uh, she says, I'm dropping something kind of long. If you want to leave it for another time, no, let's just go ahead and run through it. Uh, technically, I've heard the first three parts of the sweep, but not the fourth part, which is the reveal of the album. It requires the first three to make the impact that it does. So these are all remasters with a flatter response and with hidden melodies. All right. Are you ready, Lisa? You're under the weather bummer. Okay, sending you good weather vibes. As ASMR for sending you good vibes so you could feel better. All right, let's listen to some of Lisa's music. Oh my goodness, there's more down under here that you're scrolled through. Okay, I'll read this while I listen to your music. All right, guys, let's go. Here we go. I wasn't I wasn't vibing this drum pattern to come. This is nice. that synth tone the I really like that tone
Uh, something about this too makes it really super chill, great focus music. It's not too intruding, but it kind of sedates you into a place of, you know, getting standing on business, but not in a, you know, a gnarly way. Like that little pattern. Do -do -do -do. Second movement. Wow, I really like this opening. Like an acid jazz vibe, yeah? I love your choice of uh, um, drum patterns, you know, you, the, that you're building. Sexy bass line. that smoky romantic vibe too that's what I love about it I know you say it's coffee house jazzy thing but I really like that the fireplace smoky romantic you know jazzy vibe could have gone on for a whole nother five minutes I, I, I would have loved it is that you on the piano yeah full speakeasy vibes SP So pretty. And this would be like for a really great sexy detective vibe in a storyline. When she walked into the door, she had to look like she could have murdered somebody, but do it with syrup and honey, not a knife. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on your track that way. It just has that vibe. It's just great.
I love the tone you gave the piano where it's placed in the mix. the base this is wonderful Ooh, that chord <laughs> that was nice Sneak that up in there. Such a great lift. I feel you. It's very intoxicating that way. And that's the power of music, too, you know?
So creative. Wonder wonderfully abstract. Kind of in a Rembrandt kind of vibe, and I'm not talking about the band Rembrandt, I'm talking the artist. That was absolutely wonderful. I loved so much about that. And it also, whoops, sorry. Um, and also, I've got to say, well, first, everybody, that was Lisa, Lisa Wolf, part of our community here. That's her work. And, uh, you know, she shared, has shared quite a bit with us, actually, in the last couple of months. And every time I feel like I know what I might get when she comes across here in Dono Land or something, uh, it's completely unique and, and different and, and, and creative and abstract. This, though, I have to tell you, I just, I, I found myself just getting into a drifty trance on that. I mean, it really just lifted me and took me away from the session that I'm in right now with you. And I, and I even though I was listening to it and, and pulling layers apart and stuff like that, uh, the tone crafting that you've done on the instrumentation uh, is so wonderful. That lo-fi vibe sometimes can get away from you and stuff, and I'm far from being a lo-fi um, you know, expert in mixing or anything from that. It's a fairly new genre for me. Um, but I find myself just like having to, having to to mindfully pull me back in. <laughs> if you guys saw the video that I posted this morning on the positive wave writer, difference between mindfulness and meditation, I had this, this was one of those tracks that I found myself mindfully pulling my senses back through it, you know? So as a piece of music or as this suite, um, I, it was very powerful, very impactful, very well done. 
and a, a lot of your textures and dynamics uh, and the tone, uh, the choices of what you were playing and everything were beautiful. Beautiful voicings on some of your piano playing. So just keep goading yourself, you know? Not goading, but goat, goating, goating yourself. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I'm, I'm really excited when you do this. This is fantastic. Uh, <coughs> okay, guys, I'm going to take my first break. I have a lot of donos here, and I still want to do some Wheel of Cheese. I need about 10 minutes just to stand up and stretch my legs and stuff. And then I'm going to come back and hit more donos, so I'm going to start my, stop my hard drive right now. Stand by. Don't worry. I will hit the right button.